What is up, YouTube? My name is Christian. I am the owner and operator of I'm Home Coffee Roasters. Yeah, this is my first YouTube video. It's weird. Anyways, so to cut to the chase, I thought I wanted to start vlogging my life and giving everybody just the behind the scenes of everything that I do with my brand. I want people to feel like they're uh, able to see the rawness, the perspective of what my day in the life is like. So they get a little bit of who I am as a human being while also get a little bit of me as the coffee roaster, the owner of my brand, I'm Home Coffee. So I don't know how many times I'm saying I'm Home Coffee. I guess I'm gonna keep saying it until it just sticks in your head that that is my brand. <laughs> I think if anything, I ought to give just a small shout out just to everybody that has continued to support me, friends, my family, my God Almighty, just because without him, it wouldn't be possible to where I am today. And just praise God that I have a great mother, my grandparents who have raised me from the very beginning along with my mother, of course, but my grandparents have also just been a part of the story of I'm Home Coffee Roaster. So I really just wanna make sure that I'm just coming across to everybody as just so natural in a sense that you just know that this is all just coming from a very humble beginning. There's, there's so much still to come and I have amazing things that I would love to share with this world and that I wanna to continue to promote through my business. It's gonna be through my family that I get to share. So I think that's the real. With everything else that's around me to show you guys where this love is coming from, where this outpour is and where I can hopefully just reach out and grab everybody and just make them also feel at home. Our motto is uh, where the door is always open. And that's what coffee's always been to us. Uh, just great enigma of bringing all walks of life together. And that's what I hope to bring to you guys in this journey for however long my God will allow me to do this. I'm blessed and I'm thankful. <laughs> And so tomorrow we'll get into a little sneak peek of me just loading up my car, hitting the road, getting about a few minutes of me just working at my market and then hitting the road for something special. Something I've um, built time and a lot of money towards just to uh, make a larger step, larger footprint in this dream of mine. So thank you guys for tuning in. Hopefully you guys stick around long enough, at least till the end of this video, right? <laughs> you go ahead and like and subscribe as this will help us a lot. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you in the morning. All right, yeah, so we got two markets this weekend. All right now we're gonna go ahead and load up the car. So get ourselves ready for two events. folks and 
my personal timeline, I'm just thinking, man, is this going to fit our aesthetics? And my gosh, yes, she is the one. And I love it already. Um, I'm going to definitely make some minor adjustments to it. And we're going to need to take it to get the title, get it inspected, uh, registered. So there's still some things that we got to take care of that are going to, I guess for lack of a better word, prolong it a bit. But what I think it's going to do, it's going to, it's going to, what's the word I'm looking for? Rewarding. It's going to feel much more rewarding uh, doing all this stuff because I'm putting in the time, the effort. I'm going to customize it for how I would like it to look and do. So I think the end goal, it, it's going to just be just so rewarding. I, I just hope that from what I'm envisioning, I'll be able to put on paper. I guess also just thinking about where life has brought us, how by the grace of God, we've been able to just come this far uh, just by doing pop-ups on the weekends, farmer's markets, getting our name out there, continuing to share our story and speaking everything into existence has led us to this point here, um, which I am just most grateful and I couldn't have done it without all the support of my team. So anyways, today we're gonna just give you guys a little sneak peek at the farmer's market uh, and then we're gonna take our trip down to Oklahoma so we can go and pick up our coffee trust and I'll give you guys the you know, the ins and outs of it, so have you guys look at the exterior of it, interior, things that I'm gonna need to modify on it, uh, fix up, I guess. But anyways, y'all, um, we're gonna get to the markets here, I'll let you guys get a sneak peek of that. So let's go. drive up with tractors to the gas station. Good times. Um, 
We're almost there. We're going, heading out to Chicatawa, Oklahoma, to pick up our trailer. Um, yeah, today is the day. I'm a little exhausted. I think uh, we got like two hours of rest. But we had our two markets yesterday. Both went very well. Uh, unloading is always the hardest part. I'm going to send you guys some updates whenever we get to the trailer. Uh, so stay tuned for that. The next adventure, driving home. I'll go, go get food first. Let me, let me get on the road. Bring him back to Texas. What up, what up? Made another quick stop. Let's use the restroom. Oh my god, I'm just admiring this. It's just crazy still to think that uh, we're almost across to Texas again. But we're gonna probably grab a bite to eat and then we're gonna go and park it at my grandparents' house. So we finally made it from Oklahoma. We're back in Texas. We come to my grandparents' house. We finally brought the trailer. There it is. After, what do you think, Archie? How long has it been? Maybe we got the nine. Nine, ten hours later, because we had church in the morning at nine, or I, we, I had it at seven, but we didn't hit the road until like nine, nine thirty. So we ended up getting there in about three hours, a couple, a couple minutes, thirty minutes or so. We were chatting with them. We signed the papers. And we hit the road again, which was another two and a half to three hours just to get back to Fort Worth and to remain under the siren so nobody could like pull us over or anything just because we still got to get the insurance, we got to get the inspection done for it. Um, so that's fun, but this is it. We finally got it. My grandparents are actually going to let us use this space right now, free of rent, which I've already asked. So this is great. This is just the beginning, so we're going to start working on it. Do so a little bit of touch-ups on the inside as well but let's take a look at this for a moment so i'm going to fix the window there and then the door needs to be fixed up a little bit so we're going to probably push this in because it's actually bowing out a bit so we might have to get that closed and then the biggest project probably the first one we're going to do is cut this out right here and then what we're going to create is an awning and a uh, service delivery point of sale where people can come up to the counter and place their orders. Plus it'll take out this deck. But it's gonna be fun. We'll keep that. We'll keep that one. It's the only thing is just that door. I never, I didn't realize that was
This was kept clean. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel or if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so that way you're notified of my next video. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Thank you again for watching. Take care.